This is Joe racing in this year's big one wheel event. The only thing is, he's not on a one wheel. He's on a mag wheel, aka the trotter. And in this video, we're gonna learn all about it and what this means for the community. I think I get it out. Oh, oh, oh nice dang, run, spilled. Though. Oh, that was a long run yeah, out. He's gotta go back. Mm -hmm. See, was this number he's 165? He's riding a trotter. Uh -huh. No, is this Leonard? He's riding a trotter. Mm -hmm. Wait, a trotter? I'm trying to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but once you get it, why is it beeping at me? What's up guys, Jimmy Chang here. I'm with Andrew. Today we have a special product unboxing. This is something new for us. It's uh, an alternative to the one wheel. This is called the Trotter Magwheel T3. I don't know anything about this other than it kind of looks like the one wheel, kind of rides like the one wheel, but not really. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to learn more. Andrew, what do you know about this product? It's a 60 volt, seven amp hour system, so 420 watt hours, and it's a 1500 watt brushless motor. So twice the motor size of a one wheel XR. So we're excited to see what it's all about. And to do this unboxing, we couldn't find a knife. So I was able to find this little tool thing that we use when we go camping. And you know, this is an alternative to a Swiss army knife. And yeah, it looks a little weird, right? Cause it has a spoon and it has a fork. So just like what we're about to unbox today, kind of looks familiar, but is also kind of different. I'm gonna have an open mind, and this is going to be familiar, but just like my knife, it's gonna be different. Wow, this, this is different. Oh, oh, oh wow, so it comes, with this, a... it comes with a carrying case. Now this, awesome. this is pretty cool. I mean, if you were to buy one of those Future Motion branded ones, it costs you, I don't know, I haven't even checked, but just knowing future motion, I'd, I'd guess, I don't know. 200 bucks? 200? <laughs> Probably. Way overpriced. Anything on future motion's website is going to be overpriced. Okay, what else do we have here? Let's come in closer. Got a t shirt. We have instructions. Is that water? Oh, yeah, look, it's made to be used in wow. water. Wow. Right off the bat, they're showing, <laughs> they're advertising that this is going to be. Uh, suitable for water use, a handle, grip handle. This looks a lot like one of the first videos I made for the one wheel, which was how you could use an Amazon Jeep handle as a one wheel handle. And this, this looks very much like that Jeep handle that I purchased off of Amazon. Custom pads. Different pads here. They're going with the 1980s neon colors. How heavy is that, Jeep? compared to the one wheel it's it's feels heavier than the one wheel it's bigger than the one wheel. it's thicker than the one wheel it looks like the battery i'm assuming the battery's back here it kind of bulges out a little bit mm -hmm. a couple other differences it looks like there's sensors there's going to be sensors here and here yeah and that's interesting maybe there and there too hmm. so yeah this is what's interesting is this side's solid but this side looks like the one wheel kind of but too far indented. Yeah. One of the things I wanted to show you though is this. You pick this up and when you put it down, it doesn't lay flat just like a one wheel, right? It just wants to fall over. So no way is Future Motion going to be able to sue these guys because it's not a one wheel. A one wheel would want to stand straight and proud. The mag wheel, he wants to lay down. Which I think is actually a safety mechanism as I was talking to Andrew, because I've seen several one wheels ghost for long distances. And if you don't know what ghosting is, it's when a rider dismounts, but the one wheel keeps going. In this case, because the motor is heavy on one side and it's, uh, it's asymmetrical, eventually as it's going, it's gonna wanna lay down. So move it back and forth just to see how tight of a fit it is in there. Oh, really tight, yeah. So if you get down in here, you, I can't even see in between there. So that is a really tight fit. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be historic for the channel. We are going to get on the Trotter for the first time ever, <laughs> all right? I've been reviewing one wheels and one wheel products and accessories for three years now. I've never touched a Trotter until today and I'm gonna to get to ride it, so. Uh, but Andrew, my crash test dummy, <laughs> he's going to test this first, all right? Let's, it, let's see how this goes. It looks goes. a little scary getting on it, I've seen. I've seen some people try to get Here, on you this can, thing. You want to hold my hand? No, I don't even think I want to hold your hand. I want to be able to bell if something happens. Oh. 
Yeah, but once you get it, why is it beeping at me? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. For some reason it's beeping at me, probably because the batteries are low is my guess. We haven't charged it. Let me try this. Whoa. Oh, that's what you do. You have to go backwards to go. That's what I noticed. And you go slow. It's, it engages on its own. Once it feels pressure on both foot pads, it starts to level out on its own. We're gonna go ahead and charge this up. Um, we're gonna take it for a test ride once it has more batteries, once we fill up the tire. We we're just so excited to go ahead and ride it. I will say, um, mounting is different. A lot of things are different and a lot of things are similar. All right, I am here with my daughter and she's going to try the not a real one wheel, one wheel and see if she can figure it out for the first time, right? There you go, you got it. How is it? Oh, it does not like hills. <laughs> I've been riding this alternative to the one wheel for a little bit now, and let me tell you, it's not a one wheel, it's different. One of the things about the Trotter, while it does have a stronger motor, which should give me more confidence going uphill, it feels like it's struggling up these hills. When comparing the Magwheel T3 to the One Wheel XR head-to-head, -head, it's pretty clear that the Magwheel T3 is the dominant wheel in every category. It's got a bigger motor, bigger top speed, bigger tire, and it's got a lower price. But before you go and buy that mag wheel, let me share with you my pros and cons. First, the pros. The rugged treaded tire with a rounded contour gives you that carvy nimbleness similar to the stock one wheel pint tire. On smooth, flat surfaces, the ride was good. And as a husband and father, I'm a safety first guy who appreciates an alert system that will notify me when I'm low on battery or if I'm pushing the wheel too hard or too fast. So those are the things that I liked about the mag wheel T3. As for the things that I disliked, the mounting process was unintuitive, slow, and cumbersome, especially coming from a one wheel. Dismounting also lacked any semblance of grace as the only confident way I could dismount the mag wheel was to hop off. Finally, the ride quality on anything other than a smooth flat surface was disappointing. Going over bumps or cracks on the road caused the motor to play catch up to keep me upright, often leading to little motor surges. It just isn't a smooth ride. As the saying goes, it's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. And the Magwheel T3, despite its motor being double the size of the one wheel, it's missing that secret ingredient that Future Motion baked into their one wheel recipe that gives you that smooth floaty feeling. But maybe my opinions are just biased because I've been riding the one wheel for three years. So I found someone who's never been on a one wheel to try both the one wheel and the Magwheel. And here's what happened. I am here with Maddox. Maddox has just learned how to ride the one wheel. He's on the one wheel right now. Maddox, tell us about your experience with board sports. I, I surfboard and I wake surf and wakeboard, but that's really it. That's good. And today I'm teaching him how to ride the one wheel. He just picked it up really quickly. Special treat though, he's on the one wheel and we're going to get the perspective of someone who's just learned how to ride the one wheel and say, see what they think about this guy. Come on back. Turn this off. Okay guys, we just taught him how to ride the one wheel. Now we're gonna talk about this guy here. This is the Magwheel T3. If you've been riding the one wheel for a long time, that kind of tends to be your thing and you become a connoisseur of one wheels and anything just remotely different might be perceived as not as good. So I want to see what Maddox has to say about the Magwheel T3. Because the sensors are in the front, if you push on them, uh, <laughs> let's see you mount the one wheel. All right, so you level it and then it engages just like that. This one, it needs weight on the front and the back. And as soon as you put your front foot on the front, it's going to want to level itself. So okay. just let it do its thing, right? Okay. Just let it level itself. <laughs> level, now I'm good to go. 
just push down gently. And you can feel. Yeah. So it leveled itself yeah. out. You got that? All right, let's take it down this trail. It's going to be so much smoother once you get onto the asphalt. Mm. There you go. That feels better. Relief, right? Yeah. It's definitely easier to carve. Easier to carve? Yeah. Any other thoughts about the uh, overall smoothness? I felt like that one was like a smoother ride, especially on the road, especially. When I'm on the Magwheel T3, I feel like the motor, it's just not finely tuned. On the one wheel, when I'm just going on asphalt and I go over little cracks and bumps, it's nice and smooth. It just feels good. On the Magwheel T3, it feels like the motor is just a fraction of a second behind and it's trying to catch up, playing catch up to every little reactionary event that's happening. It's always reacting as opposed to the one wheel. It seems like they've got their software, their programming tuned because I go over cracks, I go over bumps. If I accelerate, it's finely tuned, um, nice and smooth. I would say the T3 feels like a rough draft of the one wheel. I feel like there's a little wobble, right? Yeah. Do you feel that like wobble? It throws it off a whole bunch. These little bumps kind of throw it off a little bit and you wobble. Yeah. You can tell it's not as stable as the one wheel. Okay. That's what it feels like. It feels like to me. When I'm hitting them right now, they're like... Yeah, it's, it's kind of jerky. Yeah, right? it's jerky. Maybe. Yeah, you can even see it. Just keep keep that steady speed, and then we'll just watch that. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's like trying to jerk. It tries to catch up, and so it's, yeah. it's going. It's accelerating a little bit, then it's slowing down a little bit. And the herky jerkiness, I can definitely agree. Going up hills, like this is a slight hill right now. I can feel the motor, like it's just not as finely tuned as the one wheel is what I will say. Regardless of whether you like the one wheel or the trotter, there is one thing that we should all be liking right now, and that's this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. It's the best way to support the channel so I can keep creating fresh content for you to watch. While I wanted to love the Magwheel T3, as I do believe the market needs competition to push for innovation, the T3 either needs a big price drop or a big upgrade in programming before it can compete with the One Wheel XR. What do you think? Just like Coke has Pepsi, iPhone has Android, and Nike has Reebok, I'm excited to see future competition arise to challenge the One Wheel. In fact, a mag wheel entered the one wheel race time trials this year at Float Life Fest 4, and I just love the commentary from Javier and Ren. I think I get it out. Oh, oh, oh nice dang, run, he spilled. Though. Oh, that was a long run yeah, out. He's got to go back. Mm -hmm. See, was this number He's 165? He's riding a trotter. Uh -huh. No? Was this Leonard? He's riding a trotter. Mm -hmm. Wait, a trotter? Not even wait, just yes, for sure. A thousand percent. I tried it. It's not a one wheel. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. he is. Yeah. Hey, all right, man. Mag wheel. We see you. For those watching, he is not technically riding a one wheel, but he is riding a one wheel device. But it's all about what goes into it that mm -hmm. makes it different, and Ooh, that's what oh, makes man. one wheel so special. He almost knows that there. Yeah, so specifically what makes the one wheel special is all of the programming that went into the actual self-balancing algorithm. Because uh, the, the DIY market is getting pretty close now. Mm -hmm. You know, they're getting upwards of, of coming to parity with the one wheel in terms of hardware. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just about to get to the point where the voltages of the batteries are the same, mm -hmm. and that's going to deliver the same amount of power. But still, but I think they're still the lacking behind in, the, mm -hmm. in the, the programming of the, For sure. of the motion controller. For sure. 